And members of the Gatesville community jumped into action to help nursing home and assisted living residents that were displaced by today's explosion. Our own Leslie Draffin was at the Coriel Community Church where Alzheimer's patients were being temporarily sheltered. You know, Doug, it was a little bit like organized chaos. There were so many people there this afternoon from healthcare professionals to just volunteers who walked in. They worked hand in hand to make sure some of these most vulnerable adults were safe and comfortable. Pastor David Crowther felt the explosion from his office. It shook the, you know, the pictures on my wall, and it, I, I thought it might have been something at Fort Hood, but I, I quickly learned that uh, there was an incident at the hospital. He says a member of his congregation, who's also a nurse, called to let him know people needed help. Okay. So he sprung into action. We responded and. The rest of Gatesville did too. Come on, let's go inside. Coriel Community Church became a temporary shelter for nursing home residents of the Meadows. Crowther, his congregation, and dozens of other community members bought supplies like food and water. And they also volunteered to sit with patients who were waiting for their loved ones. I'm a little overwhelmed um, by, by this community and the way they've just jumped on. Uh, a, a need when a need came up. Larry Smart heard the explosion, but first thought it was something at Fort Hood. When he found out it was next to his mom's nursing home, he came to find her. Well, I wanted to avoid it, but then when I heard where this explo explosion was, it was right outside my mom's room mm. of the meadow, so I felt compelled to show up and check her out. He found her safe and sound here at the church. <laughs> then he decided to lend a hand, just like so many others. Lots of help going on up here in the Central Texas Tough and Texas Strong. Corio County District Attorney Dusty Boyd's father-in-law was also a Meadows resident. First, he went to that facility to help relocate patients and then met his family here. He's doing good, thank you. He says he's grateful for the community's help in a time like this. And like so many others we spoke to, is thankful things weren't worse. I mean, this is what Gatesville's all about. I mean, you, you go to this church or any of the churches uh, down Main Street, they're, they're full of patients. Um, the outpouring of love and support and supplies for them, uh, trying to make them as comfortable as possible. And now again, like Curtis mentioned, none of the patients or the employees at the hospital or those nursing homes were hurt. We know the Meadows residents have now been moved to other assisted living facilities for the night, but so far there's no word on when that facility, the Meadows, might reopen. Doug? All right, Leslie, thank you.